Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today we are going to take a look at one of the scenarios, I would say, because we are currently balancing all of them and there are plenty as you know, uh, all have to be kind of rebalanced. But yep, let's get right into it and as you can see there are some missing scenario tutorial cars name. Uh, I assume those are tutorial car scenarios, so let's go in there. And we are going to play this one. And doesn't the thumbnail look promising? I would like to read the story to you. Story time, kids. For her 70th birthday, you thought you and some other family members could pitch in and buy your favorite grandma a little second-hand present. As it turns out, the car is not quite what its seller, Finn Diesel, advertised. Your grandpa, who fetched the new old car, not only has dubious taste, but also seems to be colorblind. Also, it's hard as a rock and almost broke his spine driving home. You don't have much time, try to salvage whatever possible and turn this into something drivable. You just hope Granny's taste is as weird as his. After all, she chose him 50 years ago. And here we are! Ah, my eyes are hurting. Uh, um, yes, brilliant taste, Mr. Finn Diesel. This will be very appealing to Grandma. So let's see what we can do to rescue it. Um, everything is locked, as you can see here. Uh, damn it, not changing anything. And we do have no options there either. So, um, engine? Everything is locked. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. And this one isn't. Okay, what can we change quickly in order to make this thing drivable? It has 325 kilowatts of power. It is rear wheel drive though. Um, but anyway, I think Granny will have quite a problem with this little ramp here. Especially as they are known to not be good at shifting gears and driving everything in first. Uh, that would be some nice wheel spin right there. So um, let's turn turn the boost down. We don't want to turn it down all the way, I would say, uh, because you get the best economy. Oh, string is wrong here. Uh, it should be economy better than 11 meters per 100 kil kilometers. You get the best economy around ish boost of 0.55 in the game. So uh, let's just keep it like that and see what we can do. And. Granny doesn't like to uh, be tanking ultimate unleaded. She would probably fail at that. So let's go for regular unleaded there. And a fuel mixture of 11.0 to 1. Um, it's running rich. Now that we have turned down boost. So, whoop, and now the engine is going to be destroyed. Let's make it very lean and drop down the timing as well and see how much less power we can make. Yes, yes. This is looking good. Only 184 kilowatts left. Uh, and also, even though Granny is somewhat deaf, I think zero mufflers on this car won't be too good. So let's put double reverse flow on it. See how much more can we drop? 164. Should make the car more tame. So yeah, let's go with this. There's nothing we can change quickly here. And it's looking pretty good already. Uh, everything is green, apart from no sports or semi-slick tires. You know, driving in winter time, Granny first gear doesn't know how to shift really with this car. Not a good idea. Alright, so let's put on some medium road tires and BAM! We already have our silver rank. And uh, now you have your little score shown here and can see how it improves with every change you make if... <laughs> <laughs> if the tooltips are not blocking your view. Okay, this got better. And this one too. Uh, we want to make the rear tires wider. And now we got to gold. So every time you get to a new med medal, you are shown the success window again. And in between you can see your, um, your score right there. Also, when you want to um, optimize the car without seeing all the scenario stuff here, you can just put it on statistics and this disappears this window which it shouldn't it should be still there showing the medals and stuff but you can see the stats just as you would normally and we definitely want to tune it for um, 
for optimal tameness in this case. <laughs> so let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, can we go wider? No, we can't. So let's drop this one. Also, we, uh, <laughs> as, you, as you were seeing, uh, um, Finn Diesel did put a huge ass wing on top of the car. It does make sense though, as it's rear wheel drive, but this thing potentially isn't too good for your aerodynamics and thus fuel economy. So let's change this a bit. First, cooling airflow. Now that the engine is reasonably moderate in its performance, we can lower this significantly, but also we can drop the rear wing inclination quite a bit. She won't be driving faster than like 50 anyways, right? So uh, where's the point in having a wing which just costs your economy? And that's basically it. Um, apart from, very importantly, this suspension is rock hard. Uh, basically every bump is one-to-one -one translated into the body. And we don't want that, so let's just go with comfort. Bam! Platinum! Yes, there we go. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, we have lots and lots more bugs to fix. It's a lot of work. And uh, yeah, we uh, still, of course, are on course for the 12th of March as a release date for the Steam version. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.